Hey guys, this is Sahil Fah and here we have the new Asus Zenfone 5Z which has been launched in India for 29,999 and it's going to be available on Flipkart. Now, uh, this is a really good looking phone. It's got this glass back, it's shiny and it's got this concentric circle pattern which is a pretty signature Asus design language. We've got dual cameras here. We've got an aluminium frame. It's very solid and a superb 6.2 inch uh, super LCD display. It's got a resolution higher than Full HD and as you can see you have the notch out here and a bit of a tiny chin out here. Uh, it's a really nice display. Uh, it's vivid. Uh, it's a really fast phone also. Um, it competes with the OnePlus 6 so it has the Snapdragon 845 processor. Uh, coupled with 6 GB RAM on this unit that we have uh, with 64 GB of storage but it's also available in a 6 GB and 128 GB uh, combo and also an 8 GB RAM and 256 GB storage combination and as you can see this feels very fluid it's uh, really smooth and a bit of AI is happening on this phone so it can automatically detect what apps uh, it's predicting what apps you're going to use so it's showing me whatsapp instagram facebook gmail and messenger pretty much the apps that i use the most uh, so it's figuring that out and it's really smooth so asus has done a lot of work on its user interface out here and you can see it's pretty clean it kind of looks a bit like a samsung ui uh, but it's very smooth here and if i sort of dive into the settings here Again, you will sort of see some more Samsung influence, but definitely doesn't look anything like stock Android. Uh, go into this, you can see about phone out here, so it's on Android Oreo. Uh, Asus promises an update to Android P when Google releases it. Mind you, Android P is already in the final stage of its beta, so it shouldn't be far off from a release candidate so that may come soon but asus does not have a great track record when it comes down to software updates talking about the cameras out here you get dual cameras here uh, we've got one uh, 12 megapixel sensor which is a sony imx 363 uh, with an f 1.8 aperture optically stabilized lens four axis optical stabilization and also big pixels 1.4 micron pixels which basically enhance low light sensitivity and uh, allow you to click a lot of blur free and really bright shots particularly in low light the other camera out here is actually a wide angle camera as you can see the field of view goes really wide and um, this allows for some really amazing landscape shots and also it does a lot of depth sensing for a portrait mode so if i enable the portrait mode out here and say put this bottle in front then it does a pretty decent job as you can see there's that depth effect coming in and overall this looks like a very sweet phone um, and at 29,999 for the 6GB 64GB version 32,999 for the 6GB 128GB version and 36,999 for 8GB 256GB version this is definitely a much cheaper option than the OnePlus 6 and more or less it does everything the OnePlus 6 does without compromising on anything um, if anything else, uh, this uh, phone comes with a few extras. For instance, um, it's got dual DACs inside. So the audio capabilities are really impressive. Uh, it supports high resolution audio and in the package you even get high resolution audio supported earphones which you don't get with phones like the OnePlus 6. You even get a case out with this phone. Uh, and uh, overall, it's a pretty impressive device out here. Cheers!